Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money. It seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Davey got shot. Mac and John both shot, too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. <sighs> bad business, all right. Come on. How you doing? I'm miserable. Been a tough few days. I know. Here. Take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Mm. I guess. Oh, 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 I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching. Hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Now you might fancy living on. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bring Hosea with old Dutch. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. I want boys. That's the last stall! Yeah, I hit my guy. Kill you, you son of a bitch, you bum! There you go! Arthur! Give Javier a hand hey, over there! Tough guy! You want some too, huh? Charles, I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. 
You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. See how much money the government will pay them. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. Bounty hunters. And, uh, pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, they got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Gentlemen, let's go see. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. We should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. Okay. Stay here. I, I'm having a fit. Okay, let's get after him. Get these bastards. How much is it? It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, you're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The coin to you. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But well, fear not. The joy is back in your life. Morgan. Uh, I just can't get rid of you, can I? You just don't need to fall over traffic the rest of Y con la flor del trompillo me venía consolando. Now what is that? You're soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. Make your living off a ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? Uh, who did you call a goddamn drunkard? Some shit. I got no idea. You busy, Arthur? Not too busy. Why? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really freakish. Family local boogeymen, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. What the hickory happened here? I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? What are you doing with them knives, my friend? Poisoning the tips. Why? Makes for a quicker kill. And you could take down a bear with one of these. You hit it in the right spot? Interesting. Get me some oleander. I'll show you how to make some. Pretty easy. Thanks, Javier. Claro. Hey, how you getting on there, John? Good. Oof. Scar looks pretty. Yeah. Ruined my fine features. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. I know you'd save me. Of course. I owe you. For life. You and Arthur. You okay, Arthur? Wasn't the first time, and... I'm sure it won't be the last. I do the same for you. You know that.
You know, it's not too late to repent, my Mexican friend. Oh, well, in that case, uh, I'm sure there's priests who will happily take that your was confession. Quick, You're doomed. <laughs> He's doomed. We're all doomed, Reverend. Arthur! Oh, am I glad I found you. Arthur, they got Bill. What? Who has them? Bountymen. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well... You coming? All right. Lead the way. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. In time. Ah. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. oh, thanks, Javier. I owe you for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. It's a sign. It's a goddamn rainbow. A rainbow without any rain? Our luck has changed. We're blessed. Okay. You know, vanity is a sin, Mr. Escuela. So is judging others, my little friend. Me dad used to say, the bigger the box, the smaller the gift, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Your dad? Yeah, me dad. Yeah, from the sound of things, he was quite something. Yeah. Quite something. My father, he always say to me, if someone disrespects you, fillet them with a knife. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I wasn't disrespecting. I was just looking after your mortal soul, honest. Get out of here. Hey, Arthur. Well, we know you ain't a vain man. We know you ain't a wise one. Now get out of here. Do something useful. Once an old Driscoll, always an old Driscoll. What's your problem? I already proved myself. Evening. Well, all you proved is uh, how quickly you'll turn on your friends. It ain't like that. I, I, <sighs> I only rode with them for a while. Yeah, you might have Dutch fools. But, um, <laughs> I'm watching you. Even, Arthur. You know, it's nearly five years since I left Mexico. And the rebellion? Ah. That still has not happened. If I go back and they find me, I'm dead. My mother. I heard she died. I mourn her. But I did not bury her. My sister got married. She moved away. I, I hope she's safe, but I, I will never know. And what was my crime? Huh? My crime was wanting food and fairness for the people. For that, I have been chased and hunted. I come here. Things are not so very different. Everyone steals, kills, suppresses, lies. All they do better here is make you believe that it's not that way. Hello. Guess things are the same everywhere. Yeah. The older I get, the more I find that to be true. Hey! <laughs> What'd you get, Javier? Never you mind, old man. Thank you, Arthur. Come. Have a drink with me. Salud. Well, come on. Tell old uncle, what you get? I robbed a soldier on the road. Oh, goody. What you been doing? Me? Well, thinking, plotting. You know me. Uh, 
I'm only interested in the big stuff. You say so. Who's gonna join us for a drink, huh? Maybe a little song. Come on, people, this is life! <laughs> you want another drink? Sure. <laughs> You're good hell. And yours. A different sort of You know, you're okay for a greaser. Well, you know, you're okay for an asshole. I forgot that I was doing God's work. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Man, you're a real creep, Morgan. <sighs> you fellas, man. You fellas. I, I love you fellas. I do. Yeah. I mean, you're all... You're all dumb and innocent and stuff. <laughs> it makes my heart warm. Hey, what, what is your story anyway, Micah? I told you. I guess I missed it. It isn't me. Or if it is, it isn't me. Well, then I guess. There's a... Different. You'll have to listen closer next time. I'm drunk as a lord. Oh. Me too. I'll see you later. You know, when I was a little boy, some men came to my village. Hello. They accused five men of spreading rebellion and heresy. They took them into the streets, stripped them naked, castrated them, and fed them to the pigs while the rest of the village was forced to watch. One of those men was my uncle. Another was a friend of my parents. And you know what those men had done? They had suggested that the men of the village demand a fair wage from the local landowner. That, not, not that he, not that he share all that he had, just that he give enough that the people might live. Of course, Mexico could be a land of plenty. But the people with the power there? they rather kill than share the smallest little piece. All my life, I think about this. Most people are thieves because they steal the lives and the hopes of others. You think you'll ever go back to Mexico? For now, I can't. You think we're wanted here? I'll be shot on sight if I go back there. Maybe one day. Hey, greaser, what you doing? Excuse me? I said, what you doing, greaser? I'm just playing with my knife, sheep fucker. Just playing with my knife? Should I? Be my guest. <laughs> Get out of here, you drunken fool. Okay. Yeah. So tell me, was that bad in Valentine? Bad enough to need to move, that's for sure. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yes, see you later.
Ah. So, what now, Dutch? Now? Reading? Little son? We're not home free, but... You think they're off our backs? For now. Long enough for us to figure out what we're doing. They're gonna let a bunch of criminals go after what we've done. We are not criminals. We are outlaws. There's a difference? Of course there is a goddamn difference. And when you figure out what that is, you'll know what the hell we're doing. Well, it feels like we're running, running, killing, and running some more. Listen, these are tough times, of course. But now, this is when we have to be our strongest. We're gonna make it. We are gonna be okay, but please, Javier, I need you strong. Okay. Not okay. Okay. Yes or no. Strong or weak. Which is it? Strong. Strong. Ain't like you to doubt Dutch. I ain't doubting. I just want to understand the situation. I don't think even Dutch fully understands that. My God. That woman. That... Words fail me. Words fail all of us when it comes to women. <sighs> no. Man. women like in Mexico? About the same. Some good, some bad. Some you think are good, turn out to be bad. <laughs> you miss Mexico? Of course. Think you'll ever go back? I killed a man there. Powerful man. Over a woman. Guy in the army. Till he lost his position. I can't go back. Maybe one day. I'd love to go to Mexico. One day. <laughs> Maybe you will. Love to travel, see the world. Head south, mm. Bolivia, Peru, Brazil. I met a Brazilian in a bar once. I, I didn't understand a word he said. Another. Will you take an holy orders? Pour me another drink. Got quite a thirst today, huh, amigo? Sure. Why not? Yeah, I guess you're right. <clears throat> ah. Listen. You boys saved me from being eaten alive. Folk die. That woman... <laughs> Nags... Life is... Life is brutal, brief, and random. But liquor... is wonderful. Eh, uh, well said. <sighs> wonderful. <sighs> I wish she would shut up. Excuse me. You haven't seen me. Sheer bliss, hey brother? Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Just thinking how Jenny would have liked it here. Yeah, she loved to swim. I know you I two were close. Seat. That was a fun job. We made a little bit of money. Nobody got hurt. 
And we just had ourselves a fun time. <laughs> Let me tell you something, kid. You want a job done well, you take this fella along. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Mr. Escuela, do you right. I mean, he'll frighten all the birds out of the trees. <laughs> Look, things are all gentle and calm now. But in the moment, I've seen grown men piss themselves. I am talking a puddle of piss, all because of the way he looked at them. And this was one of them. This big, tough bastard just gives us look. You know, one of those I'm about to explode moments. I thought we'd be counting corpses in minutes. Only Javier here, get this, Javier just gives one look. And the bastard turns to jelly. Well, next time, then, you boys bring me. Yeah, I want to live. One hot head is enough. Excuse me. Literally. A puddle of piss. I just want to see it the once. That's all it takes. Going fishing? The river's around here? Famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Uh, I can't fish for you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This? This is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... That he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is won without blood. I know that better than most. Hey there, I think fella. too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? It make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Come on, let's go see what's biting. Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky we got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of my here. Crickets. Thanks. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah. It was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or uh, you keep trying for these bastards? Javier? I don't think this lawman disguise is working, Arthur. I came to America because I killed a man in Mexico. Powerful man. I knew if I stayed, everyone I loved would die. I ran, not for my life, but for theirs. In this country, 
I spoke no English. I was afraid. I had nothing except for my fear for I left in a rush. I was starving, feeble, and alone. I thought I would die crossing the desert. I thought I would get here and be sent back. I thought I would be killed here. Instead, I was simply starving because nobody cared. And then I met Dutch. I was stealing chickens and he, uh, <laughs> I met him doing the same. <laughs> and we laughed. He took me in. And he fed me. And he clothed me. And I met all of you. I don't believe I shall ever go back home now. For this. This is my home now. You. You are all my home now. Well, I hey. think I'm gonna turn in. I'd love to have seen you and Dutch trying to rob chickens. I'd say I had the upper hand. Oh, I have to set up a rematch. When I was a boy, my mother told me about an animal that attacked cattle and drank their blood. Of course, you've all heard about this. Every place has one of those, but my mother's version was a little different. Along with farmyard animals, her version also ate little boys who misbehaved. <laughs> oh, she tried everything she could to keep me in line. Prepare me for a life of starving servitude while picking corn and cotton for rich landowners, giving every penny I had to the church they used to keep us in line. I, I loved my mother, but she never saw how things were. Even after they killed her brother, still, she could not see how life was. You don't talk about your mother much. It's painful for me. Sure, I understand. It's what you staring at? Easy there, John. I don't know. You tell me. Hey, well, the devil punishes people who stare. That's so. Open your eyes, Sean. Why don't you fuck off back to Mexico? Why don't you fuck off back to hell? <laughs> you hit like you dressed. <clears throat> All feminine. <laughs> oh, I'll wipe that smile off your face one day. Believe me. Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! Crazy old fool. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. We'll make him think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Here you go, boy. This will probably sell them to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. <laughs> My favorite horse. Greaser, huh? <clears throat> okay. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? 
You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. I can give you 650 for him. Okay. Those twins who bought the horses are strange, huh? Real strange. And they don't like Cubans. Oh, Dutch! We just heard Micah, Karen, anyone strange turns up. Rest of you! So. Take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite. They're off limits. <laughs> it's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm. Detective agency. Agent moron. And basic decency was outmoded or not. It's done. The messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray. Ain't that fine. Just you. With Making a big mistake. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be... What now? Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson... Out of the air! <laughs> Play us away! No se lo des a nadie Cielito lindo que a mi me toca Ay, 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 ay Ay, ay, ay Cantando se alegran, cielito lindo los corazones. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo los Keep this party going, Javier. I will. See, Jefe. Good morning. Oh, my head is killing me. You ever think about going back to Mexico? I can't. At least not for now. It's a long story. Nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Ah, uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Hello, gentlemen. Como estas? You've been drinking. Uh, a lot, Karen. You okay? You've been killing a lot, so don't judge me. Okay. Just trying to look out for you. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? Oh, is that you done? Done? Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, gentlemen, please, cash yeah. these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but... And it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but... Well, you can't have everything. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> oh, shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here, come on. Let's go meet the others. 
Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> it's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> ah! oh, Come on, Arthur! Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? You play a good guard. And you make a pretty good oil man. Yeah, Trelawney and Jose have taught us well. This has all gotten a little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. I don't know. I ain't sure that's the right move. Kind of confused, I like somebody just asked you where the sun goes at night. Huh? Yeah, but what do you mean? Bad business, all right. Damn it, Pearson. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, yeah, better be nothing. I, I love it when you talk to me so tough and manly. And you know, you make me feel like a little Mexican peasant who's got to be scared of the big American soldier. Now, you want to start something, buddy? Why are you always so angry, Bill? You shut up. Shut up. Arthur, why is he always so angry? You got any clue? He's every right to be angry. He's been dealt a bad hand. I'd be angry too. You carry on, Bill. Thanks, Arthur. All right, I give up. Oh my God. Ah! Come on. Where is everybody? What's going on down there? We lost control of the bank. The others are trying to hold them off. Okay. Ah! Lenny, he's... He's dead. Oh, God, no! There's nothing we can do. We gotta keep moving. I don't believe... Hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least wake up! Wake up! Come on, Arthur! Wake up! Wake up! Would you get a move on, you make me faster! Please, Lord, I'll be right behind you. Good. Boy. You're alive. Arthur. Oh, boy, that's it. You're... You're alive. <laughs> Oh, we got you. We got you. We are on the island of Guam. Javier has the local. I guess we're gonna get shot. Who are you? Come, come, come! Javier! Oh, get out of here! Get out of here! There's a lot of them! What do you think? We gotta move, Dutch! Kill. Don't lose face, son! My friend! I do not understand. Who are you? I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Oh! Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso ni fue para tanto. Si que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. All right. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. Cover us. Uh, 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 oh. Get in, Javier. Arthur and I will hold him off. Hold 
to be in a cage. Thanks. Thanks for getting me out. Of course. Let's try to rest. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. I thought I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. The place got us surrounded with gun positions, so when we try to sail out... Bill, you're gonna guard Javier on the ship here. Got it for you, Javier. <laughs> we'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And uh, that's not what I thought we were going to be doing We've here. We've been in a bad way. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. Get back to work! Yeah. Morning. How you doing with all this? Not too bad? Yeah. Gotta stay positive. Whatever you say. Javier. Arthur. How are you coping? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, we ain't done yet. You just worry about that cough. Hi, Javier. Hey. How you doing with all this? I'm fine. Yeah. Gotta keep the hope. Sure, Arthur. You know, I see the men who say one thing and do the other thing. Who promise you the world while they rob the bread off your plate. Listen, I know Dutch been a little erratic recently. I, I know what went on in Blackwater. Well, none of us is pretending that was something nice. But I guess, the way I see it, we're still here. And he's still right. I mean, look, you're all free to think what you want to think, but for me, I still believe in him. Because, well, he did what he did. But he did it for love. For all of us. Yes, I feel bad. They didn't deserve that. But listen, I just think, and I've been thinking about this a lot, I just think Dutch loves us. And being loved, well... We're gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Hey there. Why are you prowling around here? How you doing with all this? I can't complain. Just keep your fingers crossed. Whatever. Hey. Won't even sit next to me no more. Well, How I am honored. Doing? Hey there. Hey. How are you coping? It's hard to stay positive right now. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. Can we talk? I don't have much to say to you right now. Well, we're still alive. Hello. For sure. Hey. Morning, Arthur. <coughs> you okay, friend? Never better. Dutch. You're breaking his heart. You know that. Did he tell you to say this to me, friend? No. But I know. Dutch and that fool at his ear, they're gonna kill every last one of us. I see that now. I need to move a little. You doing all right? I think so. Javier. Hey. What's wrong? What happened to loyalty, Arthur? What happened to loyalty, Arthur? What happened to loyalty? I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job. 
They, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here. Take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. <coughs> How are you coping? Praying Dutch is gonna get us out of this. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. They pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? No. Why are you acting like this? I thought we had to stick together. Oh, I am. We are loyalty. It's you. Me. You saved me once. More than once. I've saved you. And now... I'm sticking to my family. <laughs> These people ain't your family. Who are they? Oh, you know what? You're an arrogant son of a bitch, John. No. I won't let my child die because of Dutch. I can't. I love Dutch, but this is getting crazy. You know it. Get your head straight, John. Seems like sides are getting drawn. And it ain't about us being disloyal. I guess to someone like Javier, it is. Can't you see what's happening here? Oh, I see what's happening. Eh, you just won't admit it. You are allowed to think for yourself, you know? Oh, here we go. You're a grown man. ¿Cuál es tu problema? Use your goddamn brain. You're not the man I thought you were, Javier. Oh, shut up. I always thought you were smart. You think this is funny? But you're as dumb as Billy is. I'm not even playing this game. Some mess this is. I think so. Who do you think the rat is? What do you mean? Somebody's talking. I can feel it. Who do you think it is? I got no idea. You? Well, me? No! It's not me! I'm loyal and you know it. I don't know. I think maybe Marston. You think so? Well, it's the only thing that makes sense. Well, that don't make much sense either. You still got your head up your ass, Morgan? Probably. Because all I'm hearing is shit. Real funny. Oh. Marston ain't a rat. How many years you known him? Why did they take so long to hang him? What has happened to you? It's hard to believe it's come to this. We gotta stay behind Dutch. That's the only way. How are you coping? I think you know the answer to that. Uh -huh. Whatever, Arthur. Why are you doing all this stuff behind Dutch's back, Arthur? Why? It ain't like that. Oh, so it's true. You're undermining us all. Just when it matters the most. Who said that? Micah? Dutch? Doesn't matter who said it, it's true. Come on, man. Right now, be strong. Be together. <clears throat> I'm trying. Try harder. Hi. I'm getting nervous, boss. Me too, son. But we'll be okay if we stick together. You don't think we should scatter? Scatter? We have a problem to solve. We solve it together or we die alone. We run. They'll pick us off one week. Desperate fool after the other. Ain't that so, John? 
I guess. I guess one of these days we'll find out. Come on. Both of you. A little faith. A little faith. What's wrong with all of you? Huh? Come on. Come on, what's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? Where's your trust? Huh? Where, 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 where's your faith? I got a son, Sorry. Mr. Esquela. Right? I want him to live. It's by staying together that we live. Come on! Yep. God damn the lot of you. What's your problem, brother? No problem. No, you've got a problem. Look at how you're acting. I don't have a problem. You have a problem? I don't know yet. But use your brain, friend. Use your brain. I'll use my brain, and you use yours. Oh, you want to die? Not particularly. You're making a dumb choice, man. I made no choices. Seems he's picked his side. Are there sides now? Seems that way. What was that all about? You're just as bad. What happened to loyalty? Yeah. What did? Can I, uh, talk to you a minute? Of course, partner. <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> mm, that boy ain't dumb, Javier. Hey, Arthur. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? Mr. Morgan! Charles! My son, my people, will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? We are lost. These young men will be annihilated. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I, I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Timbuktu? That's enough! What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. Let's ride out, gentlemen. I got us a river boat. We'll head up to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. So long as it isn't Gorma. Cleet, Sadie. Should I just sneak on now? You protect that money! Man, the... That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. There's Pinkerton's coming, fast! And who? Bell, I'm here. Think, think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down. God damn it! Move. You ready, John? Yeah. <laughs> 